I can't even imagine not joining the LFL and meeting Kale and to think that if I would have done something else, I might not have my husband, I might not have, you know, my youngest son. And that's just, it's crazy to think that everything happens for a reason. Is our destiny in life fate or circumstance? This is the story of Jacqueline Smith and Kale Good. Two people in love with football would soon find love in football. What started out as a passion for the game turned into a life together. Jacqueline Smith and Cale Good began their LFL journeys. The inaugural season of the Omaha Heart, a season that would become the franchise's most memorable, both on and off the field. While their attention was on building a football team, an unexpected bond would form. Well, the first time I saw her, I didn't necessarily know she was the one. You know, when I started coaching and helping out, obviously she started to stand out. I took an interest in her and started helping her and, and we started talking more and more. You know, one thing kind of led to another and, and down the road, eventually, you know, it, it kind of developed into to something great. That bond on the football field would blossom into family. That now includes Brody, Sydney, and Brady. Having kids has brought purpose to my life. Um, you go through going to school, having fun with your friends, having a job, and everything's fine. And then you have a kid, and you realize, like, wow, this is such an amazing feeling. Everything you experienced before just feels different. You just feel more important, more needed, more valued. And what you do is so important on them that you just, it motivates you just to be better and better and better. Oh man, having kids has been tons of joy. I mean, uh, you're not only able to, to live vicariously through them, but to see them grow up and, and to nurture them, help them, uh, love them. You know, it's always something going on during the day, whether it's Sydney, Brody, or Brady, uh, they're just nonstop. So it's never really a dull moment, but you know, it's, it's exciting. I love it, I wouldn't have it any other way. Family comes first in the good household. However, football comes a close second. So I'm married obviously to Kale, and game day, we're not. Game day, he is my coach, he's my offensive coordinator, the lovey husband side is done as soon as we hit the arena doors. I even call him coach. I refer to him. He refers to me as a player. There is no relationship on the field whatsoever. As far as like outside of football, obviously we're married, but we don't, we don't do that. It's, it, this is an aggressive game and a mental game, and I don't need to be thinking, that's my husband, that's my coach, and I'm gonna get mad at him, and he's gonna get mad at me, and we're just gonna push through and do this together as a coach and a player. Game days, uh, you know, we really don't see each other a whole lot because she'll get up, start getting ready bright and early. Once we get to the arena, then it starts taking on a different role and atmosphere. We'll start talking, going over plays, going over the play sheets, any questions she has, any concerns. Uh, nothing that we haven't already covered, but she just wants to be sure know exactly, be on the same page, and uh, then it's just kind of normal, normal day-to-day -day stuff. While a strong family has formed off the field, on the field. Good, another interception. 
Watch how quick she gets rid of the football because she's scared to get hit again. Here comes that Nashville blitz. Intercepted. And that's Jacqueline Good going into the locker room. I'm fucking free. <laughs> it has been a struggle for Omaha. <laughs> Good is just taking abuse at the quarterback position. When life comes crashing down around you, we all hope to have someone like Jacqueline or Kale by our side. Omaha may have lost the game, but these two have found something far more important. Love.